Uh, Your Excellency President Yoweri Museveni. Your Excellencies, Majesties, Heads of States and Governments, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, may the peace of God be upon you all. I address you today after a long time since the second South Summit in Doha in 2005, whereby we issued the Doha Declaration that reiterated the values of solidarity and unified action via the Group of 77 and China in order to reiterate common interests of developing countries through developing international development and multilateral action and, develop and uh, cooperation between the South. Uh, distinguished guests are developing countries uh, required to increase and promote uh, solidarity and cooperation in order to face, uh, to face the complex challenges of our world, uh, which require us uh, to face them unified uh, and in consultation. Uh, Qatar lays great importance for cooperation between the countries of the South and to promote the role of G77 and China. Uh, Doha uh, has hosted in March 2023 the, the fifth UN Conference of the Least Developed Countries, uh, LDCs, uh, whereby we have adopted the Doha Action Plan for the least developing countries uh, for 2022-2031. And at the margin of the conference, the ministerial meeting for cooperation between this, uh, the countries of the South was held, uh, and His Highness uh, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani has contributed $60 million, $50 million of which uh, will be allocated for projects uh, that promote uh, the resilience of least development, developing countries in different fields uh, and the contributions of Qatar in sustainability and, and in humanitarian aid has continued in uh, different fora for of the uh, brotherly countries uh, of the South countries, uh, whereby the contributions uh, of uh, the South countries funds uh, has uh, has. Uh, has been more than seven billion U.S. dollars uh, from 2014 to 2021. Your Excellencies and Majesties, in light of developments uh, that the Arab region has been witnessing since the 7th of October 2030, uh, 2023, the Palestinian uh, people is, uh, of course, witnessing an unprecedented aggression. And here we reiterate the state of Qatar's position in supporting the, uh, of course, still in the Palestinian right in uh, self-determination and establishing uh, the uh, a state uh, according to the 1967 borders with East Jerusalem as their capital and of course uh, having the their their rights which is a just uh, with this is just of course position based on international law and the UN Charter and uh, the UN resolutions uh, and uh, it goes in par with the constant position of the G77 since its, its establishment. It is the position of all peace-loving uh, people. Also, we call uh, for the support and providing humanitarian assistance to civilians in the Gaza, uh, this especially in the most, uh, of course, uh, destroyed uh, and affected uh, regions. Uh, distinguished guests uh, today, of course, we celebrate uh, 60 years since the inception of G77 and China. And the G77 played an, a pivotal role in defending uh, the rights of the Developing countries in the UN and the G77 has, of course, achieved many successes in promoting cooperation between the countries of the South, and we still have a long way to go. And would like to reiterate again our support to the causes of the countries of the South, and we work on them seriously through our membership in the uh, group in G77. Mr. Chair, uh, in conclusion, uh, while of course uh, we transfer the chairmanship uh, to the sisterly country of Uganda, we wish you success in your endeavors and reiterate again the position of the of Qatar that supports the countries of the South based uh, on the principles of cooperation, consultation, and unified work and solidarity. Thank you, Mr. Chair.